hi friends we will compute drainage density in this tutorial so for that i am going to start from watershed delineated from dam and flow accumulation map so the red boundary shows the watershed which i have already delineated uh, from the projected dam then also you can see a flow accumulation map so let's see how to do uh, how to generate drainage density so let's begin so in spatial analysis first of all i'm going to match map algebra raster calculator and i'm selecting flow accumulation map greater than i'm putting a value of thousand so this is done so as to do the stream uh, generation from the uh, flow accumulation map okay uh, so the zero the value zero indicates the null values or no data values so i'm going to give it a white color so that it is more clear okay so you can figure out the streams now now the next procedure is to link these streams so we'll go into hydrology in that stream link Next procedure is to convert these uh, streams into polylines. So for that, uh, our streamling is done. So I'm going to convert it into polylines. For that, I'm going to conversion tools from raster. Raster to polyline. Next procedure is to clip our streams into our watershed area. So for that, we'll go into geoprocessing, clip. So now we have clipped our streams into a watershed area. Yeah, so now the clip we have clipped the stream. So now let's study about drainage density. Drainage density of a basin is the total line length of the stream network divided by the basin area. So a high density uh, or high drainage density indicates a mature well-developed channel system, surface runoff moves rapidly, towards the channels, thin or deforestated vegetation cover, then basin rocks or the surface soils are generally having very low infiltration rate. Okay, so now let's uh, determine drainage density. For that, I'm going to streams. I'm opening the attribute table of streams. So you can see a field called grid code. So based on this grid code, we will generate the uh, stream density. For that, in uh, density, I am going to line density, stream is selected as the input, the population field is selected as grid code. Map units I am giving in square kilometers in environments, raster analysis, cell size is taken same as that of the layer dim. Okay, okay. Okay. 
yeah so we got the pictorial representation of a stream density so now uh, we'll move going to the properties yeah so in this i'm going to just select a better ramp now i'll just play around to make it more pleasing to our eyes so just changing the colors here and there mm. so again i'm going to the properties once again in that uh, going to labels so i'm going to format the labels uh, number of significant digits i'm going to give just three okay then i'm going to switch on the use hillside effect value apply okay yeah so now we are almost done so now we can see the um, density clearly like where the density is more and where the density is less so now i'm going to right click the watershed layer open attribute table i'm going to add the field add a field called area type is float in square kilometers okay yes so we got the area now we'll go into the stream layer and right click and open the attribute table yeah in this we'll add a field called uh, length okay so we will right click then calculate geometry length in kilometers i'm going to calculate okay okay so now we will find out the sum value of this length for that again i'll right click then in that statistics so uh, you can see a sum value so now i'll just copy this sum value so that in order to find the drainage density we can use this value because drainage density is the total length divided by basin area so i'm just going to copy this value copy right click copy okay then again i'm going to the watershed layer open attribute table now i'm going to create one more field called drainage density okay so i'm going to right click that then i'm going to select field calculator we know drainage density is total length of the uh, streams divided by basin area so i pasted the value of the total length of the streams which i had copied earlier divided by area so okay yeah so now we got the drainage density value for the basin so this is our value Okay so in this tutorial we studied how to obtain drainage density both pictorially and by uh, how to find out the value of drainage density so i hope you like my tutorial thank you